Welcome to another edition of Carbs and Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Flavor of the month for Baskin Robbins, icing on the cake, I guess it's to celebrate their 70th uh, anniversary? Or 70 years of being open, something along those lines. Go ahead and check out our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming, by clicking the annotation right there. If you like Let's Plays combined with our personalities, that is the channel for you. So, icing on the cake. Uh, <laughs> icing is not really my favorite part of cake to begin with. So, uh, usually I prefer like, you know, the cake part, or if you have chocolate or something. Icing though, eh, I don't know about that one. But we're gonna try it out because this is supposed to be ice cream that's entirely icing on the cake flavored. So let's try it out, here we go. One little scoop only costs like, it's like 260 or something like, or it's two scoops, I don't know. This cost me like 260 though. So here we go. It's like a very doughy icing flavor. It's kind of addicting, not bad. I think the doughiness helps a lot. There are different textures to Baskin Robbins ice cream. When I was a kid, I only got the same one. So I figured they all had the same texture, but they do have some that are kind of like gelato-ish, and that's what this is coming off as. And those are more ice cream, a little harder. Pretty good, I really like the little uh, chunks that they have in there as well. Those actually taste really good. It's nice, it's not like the best thing ever. And like I always say in my Basket Robin reviews, it's not the flavor of choice that I would get when I go in there, you know, just for a casual experience. But overall, it's not bad at all. That would be the worst catchphrase to give to your business or even just as yourself it's like overall not bad at all that's not very good though it's it's not bad but that doesn't mean it isn't good either not a lot to say about this one other than it just does taste like icing on the cake but in more of a batter form it's very thick but it's good it's easy to chew on it's a nice little celebration of their being open for so long i suppose i would rate this a four it's nice. It's not perfection or anything, but if somebody offered to be this, I'd be like, yeah, whatever, sure, it's not my my thing, but I like it enough. There's really not much more to say about it than that. But hey, there you go, guys. What are your thoughts on icing on the cake? Flavor of the month right now at Baskin Robbins. And if you could have your own flavor of the month at Baskin Robbins, what would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for joining me, and as always, we'll see you on the next one. Right, let's eat it! Reckless eating.